Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we are going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart where I am going to be giving you the most important levels that will be coming into play for the week to come. These levels are going to be hit so you need to be paying full attention to the levels and the context that I'm giving you within these trades. I'm going to pick up where we left off my last video where I was explaining to you why I was in this $1.4 million short position, why I had not yet taken profits and why I was still looking for lower levels. While I'm on this subject, I've got a quick question for you, which I'd like you to give me your, your opinion down below. OK, you've seen me on this chart champions trading challenge account, which I've been trading now for, you know, probably about six months, I think it is. And I've obviously increased the account size greatly. And now we're trading with multi-million dollar position sizes. My question to you, which I'd like you to let me know down below in the comments section is, would you like me to restart this? Would you like to see me trading with position sizes such as only $100 or $1,000? Something that may be more relatable to yourself. Or do you enjoy seeing the, you know, one to $5 million positions that I'm trading with on this account currently? So let me know really simply down below. Daniel, restart the challenge and start with, you know, such as $1,000 or hey, you enjoy seeing the multi-million dollar position sizes. It's just to know whether you want something more relatable or not. Um, so yeah, that was the first question that I wanted to start off with. So let me know down below. And for those that were paying close attention, which I know a lot of you were because I could tell from the comments, and that was you were very, you know, you were very well spotting the alert that I had set down here from $16,559 Okay, that alert obviously being a big target for myself. I'll actually just show you this quite funny. But if you are a champion, you'll know that we actually have had this alert set up for a few weeks now. That alert at $16,558 was created, as you see on the left on the pop-up, on the 4th of December. So you have to remain very patient for that target, which was the point of control of our whole range. But eventually we have had that hit. So it's a very big, important level. And it's kind of funny here when you see the last two alerts that have gone off. The top alert here at 18,120 that was obviously giving us our swing failure pattern slash failed auction of the high more of a failed auction coming up hitting that 1,118 target and then obviously falling back down so the top target of 18,120 gave us the high and currently that alert what we've had for two weeks now has given us our current low 16,550 so it just shows you the power of remaining patient. Obviously, in this section of the chart, I was very bullish. I was looking for higher prices. I was in no local short positions at all. No short positions locally at all. Locally means over the over the past month. No short positions. We hit the target. I then change my bias based off of that reaction. And then I go from very bullish to closing the longs, entering new short positions, returning bearish and looking for lower prices the big target 16550 and that short position obviously played out very well okay <laughs> you know in in a, in a lot more profits than just sixty thousand dollars now okay and that brings us up to more recent price action that i actually want to explain to you here before i cover the next levels and exactly what i'm looking for next i just want to really briefly cover this quick mini range here that i was looking at within my group and just showing you that even if you miss the top even if you miss the next failed auction there's several opportunities in this market if you're on top of the game if you're ready and waiting for it we we're actually given this next opportunity on the at the time was the 16th okay back on the 16th so three days ago now i told my team with you know we actually was another failed auction of a local range here back on the 16th here is the failed auction of the high okay after seeing that i told my team i've, I've taken another short and we're going for the target of the last low we end up hitting take profit one take profit two was sixteen thousand five hundred and fifty. very clearly giving my team the target of 16,550 back on the 16th of December. On the 17th of December, remember, that's when our alert was triggered on the 17th. That was when we hit the target that I gave to my team, 16,550. You can see the reaction off of that was actually perfect when you come over onto the chart. 16,550 hit, and that was our current low. That low was the low that gave us the back test of the daily level, which was also a back test of this lovely value area high to the exact dollar. Okay, just look at this. 
Okay, so we come up, we back tested that value area high, more importantly, giving a local swing failure pattern onto the retest of the daily. But I just hope you can appreciate here the levels that I'm giving you, the alerts that if you pay attention to are causing the highs and lows, obviously more obvious and clear targets given in the group. But I think that's absolutely understandable, right? These are champions that are very serious about their education, very serious about their trading. Of course, I'm going to be giving it to them, the targets and the trades first. And I explain it here later on YouTube. But, you know, given that target, 16,550, it was the loan, as you can see here, walking away on that trade with five current Bitcoin profits. That's $84,000 profit in what was up about two to three days of trading. That's obviously now seen over $100,000 profit, by the way. But, you know, just goes to show you the power of trading and the technicals when you really are aware of what's happening in this market. Timing the highs off of the key swing failure pattern failed auction down to the low off of the range point of control okay that's enough of that and i actually want to explain what i'm looking for next over once again the next really yeah the few days for this week okay these are the levels you're going to have to mark on your chart and have on your chart with me okay i just want to actually say one thing and it's it's talking about bitcoin and the overall you know what i refer to as like an overall bottom or a high term time frame bottom high term time frame low on the chart okay there's a very big difference between a local bottom and a high term time frame bottom okay so what we what do i mean by this our local low was put in here right at the target 16550 or our local high was put in at that daily swing failure pattern, right? So these are our local levels. So I could say here, our local low is in, and then we come up and we hit our target. Or our local high was in, and then we came back down and we retested the CC, okay? So it's very important that you understand the difference between local levels, which are more for scalp day trades and our overall high term time frame highs and lows. And I just wanna emphasize this really greatly. OK, in the past year, you have heard me. OK, this is really important. In the past year, you have never, never heard me say that the high term time frame overall bottom is in. I have never said that. OK, in the past year, you have heard me say many times I remain in high term time frame swing shorts and I believe the price will still go lower overall. OK, so local bottoms and highs, of course, can provide good scope opportunities. Here we're talking about longs. But I can still remain in that higher term time frame bearishness. OK, I just want to emphasize this greatly to everybody listening. For example, I was very bullish during this rise. Very bullish. I was in no local short positions. Overall, on the higher term time frame, I'm still bearish. But locally, no shorts. We hit the target. Price pulls back. That gave us our local bottom was in, all right? Our local bottom was in with the strong rally to the upside. Not our overall bottom, but our local bottom was in. We hit the target and we reverse, okay? Just something that I wanted to emphasize here. Big difference between local and higher term time frames. You've never heard me say over the past year, I think the overall bottom is in yet. But you have heard me say, I'm staying in my swing short positions and I still expect lower prices to come. Something that I want to emphasize here before now I move on to what we're looking at next. So, um, yeah, here we can obviously see we're currently in a range, right? Our local range was put in off of the range point of control. This is our medium term time frame range point of control, 16,550. And our local high has put in, been put in off of that value area high slash daily zone. So locally, our resistance, write this down, our local resistance is 16,900 and our local support is 16,550. This is our local range, right? We've gone from range low to range high to range CC for range CC. You're actually going to see here high to low into the CC. And here to put in that high, we went from low to high and we bounced off the CC. So CC to CC currently. Okay. This range is obviously absolutely great for day traders. Should we lose this range low? Okay, I'm looking for the NPOC next, where we can be looking for that failed auction or swing failure pattern. Okay, the failed auction is more spending time below this low, right? And then you get the reclaim. The swing failure pattern is just a simple up and down move. 
Okay, but I think this NPOC is absolutely pivotal for the next few days of price action. Okay, that's 16,500. Level to the upside if we bake through the daily, which is no longer a daily level, by the way, it has been tapped. I'm going to remove it, would be this NPOC, which is really a zone. 100% this is another zone. So just like you're looking for the reaction of the downside, we can be looking for this on the upside as well. Again, it can spend a bit of time, but we'd be looking for that for an executable short position, right? Where then we can look for the extended down moves. But for me, it's all based off the reaction, because if we simply break through that level and we smash through it well then i'll be looking for my next level to the upside right so it's a level to level environment for me we've currently got our local range where we are really simply range bound okay if we break that value area high i can be looking for the npoc if we break this value area low i can be looking for 16550 then the npoc of the monthly okay so for me this is the way to trade right now this is the only way that you can actually make money off of this market right now it's remaining patient it's doing your technical analysis and it's being ready and waiting for these levels okay it's just like yesterday eagle done a live stream for the champions the champions live stream of sunday uh, as you can see people absolutely loved it this was <laughs> this was last night um you know i absolutely say hats off it was an amazing live stream from eagle and then this is what you'd have seen uh, actually this morning okay this morning he well if, if you were paying attention and you watched his live stream the setup that he gave last night has already come into effect and played you can see lots of comments this morning was here one that i picked legendary stream last night igor catch the short and then closed it at the low of the move couldn't get into the long because he was sleeping but what a cool king um yeah it really was a great call by eagle but it just shows once again that when you're paying attention when you're ready and waiting even on the lower term time frames here it's possible to time the high be ready and waiting for that high and then understand that pr higher probability low which was the local cc taking the lows okay but it just shows you you've got to be ready and waiting for for these types of levels and these types of trades okay mark out the level set an alert trade the reaction it can be a simple yes or no answer of is there a reaction yes or no ladies and gentlemen that is my video of today if you want to see more from us then you can obviously get that over at chartchampions.com okay where we will say this um <laughs> uh, you know if you want a, if you want the educational content then you can get that on our website obviously now we got the live trading in Igor's live trading stream making over two thousand dollars you can see a little glimpse of that off of the tiktok but uh <laughs> yeah if you're into tiktok you can follow chart champions on tiktok as well but obviously this content is just extracted from the live stream itself over on chartchampions.com Okay, and for me, I'm just going to end with the simple words of this, that if you want a trading team who not only have hundreds of hours of educational content, original templates that you're going to see first before everybody else starts to copy them, <laughs> and the most profitable live trading streams, then you can head over to chartchampions.com now. That's where you get the trading updates. That's where you will get the trading live streams. And that's where you get all of the educational content. So if you are low on confidence, if you would like these little heads up of when I take trades, what the hot targets I'm looking for, when I hit my take profits, not only myself, but I really mean this, some of the best traders in the world right now alongside you every single day of the week well that's you're going to be your confidence gainer that's going to be how you're going to be starting to become a profitable and consistent trader and that's how we can help you along your journey so i'll see you over at chartchampions.com for the next live stream which is a live trading stream tomorrow tomorrow 2 p.m uk time another live trading stream and of course you've got the daily updates to go alongside this every single day so thank you ever so much i'll catch you over there and i hope you thoroughly enjoy your day cheers everybody and have a good one goodbye Ending with the legal trade disclaimer, of course, that there is no financial advice in this video. Just an entertainment educational video only and all trades are on paper demo trade account. Bye.